So, good morning. We are in Y, Arizona. We are on our way to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Um, we got up this morning, we loaded up. So we are just stopping here. This is the closest town to the monument to just top off the tank. Um, yeah, gas is about 379. And we're almost there. We're 30 minutes from camp. So we'll see you when we get there. drought tolerant plant in North America. So welcome to camp. We have finally made it to uh, Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Well, actually we've been here for hours, but we have a visitor. So one of Rob's friends from a very, for a very long time um, is here visiting. So we've been spending a lot of time visiting with him, but we're gonna chill out tonight. We're gonna make some dinner soon. We're gonna hang out by the fire. And tomorrow we are going to go on an adventure. So we will introduce you to our friend then. And I don't know, maybe if I remember, we'll pull out the camera and kind of show you what we do tonight. But if we don't see you till in the morning, just know we're having a fabulous time this evening. We're just gonna sit by the fire. We got our above six inch fire pit because here at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. You can't have a ground fire. So we're very excited. This is going to be the first time we're going to burn wood in it. We'll so. have to show them a little later because it's all out of focus right now. You're in <laughs> focus, but we'll show them. Okay, so we'll see you guys later. Cactus um, National Monument. We just woke up. It's going to be a little overcast, but it should be a really nice day. We had a really nice time just hanging out with our friend and enjoying the fire and good conversation. So it was a really good night. Um, so I think we're going to get up here and start getting ready so we can go take some scenic drives and maybe do some off-roading. I'm excited, so let's do this. <laughs> okay, baby, what do we got going on? I am cooking breakfast and I'm working on my not-so-junior ranger badge. Uh, Oregon Pike Cactus actually has an adult version of the junior ranger program, so I'm very excited. I'm doing a crossword. is our easy up but if you might notice we got a new addition this is just like a little add-on room that goes on the outside of the easy up but it, it does attach to the easy up and we're using it as like a storage room just to put stuff so it's out of the way has a place where it's safe from critters or anything like that it's pretty cool So the 
first time in any of our camping trips, we were able to actually put our tent up on uh, the, the tent pad. It fits all the way up there. We've never been able to do that before. I think my problem is I put the eggs in before the potatoes. That make it more messy? Yeah. This is a lot of just eggs stuck to the bottom. My friend Scott is joining us on his camping trip. Hell yeah! <laughs> Lost in the Arizona desert. <laughs> Hiking, so this is going to take us right up into those mountains and around. That'll be cool. Very nice. So we are at the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. We are doing one of the major loops here. Um, so we're part of the way in. We are with our friend Scott, who is chauffeuring us around in his four-wheel drive. So this is going to be fun. I think we're going to get pretty close to the hills and just see a lot of beautiful scenery. So come on, let's go. 66 sticker on there, bro. We're learning, we're getting better. All right, we're getting ready to take off. <laughs> There's something blue to, to still. driving down the road and there's a big flag and we're like what is that so we took a little hike and we found it is a water station that has sanitized clean water so in an emergency someone who sees the blue flag knows that there is fresh safe water to drink while they're out in the desert Into parts of this 
beautiful park that we're really seeing a lot of the Oregon pipe cactuses. Behind me, you'll see they're just going up the mountain and it's just so beautiful. Um, this has just been an amazing scenic drive. It is definitely something that any vehicle can do so far. Um, I know there are two vehicle scenic routes and then there's one that is a high clearance vehicle path. So yeah, this is definitely one I recommend anybody doing. This is just amazing. There's something in the foreground, and he has something in the background, and so it looks like they're moving at different speeds. Oh, okay. It looks, it looks really cool. You can have them restored, and they're worth yeah. like thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Bean pods, that's edible. Yeah. Very cool. The mesquite bean pods have the best carbohydrate and protein in the desert. Really? Yes, I learned that yesterday at the museum. <laughs> I am learning. <laughs> so we thought we would stop and do the Arch Canyon Trail. So you can see the arches up behind us and it just gives you a chance to get up closer to it to get a better view. So we're gonna go hike this. Let's go. Scott left us. <laughs>
it turned out good because I did some foreground. And then uh, you came around the corner. It was, yeah. it was nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. It was worth the run. Cool. <laughs> So we have stopped in Ajo and we are eating at the Agave Grill. So this is going to be really delicious, I hope. Um, we just finished our first loop and after lunch we're going to go do another loop. So I'm really excited and i show you what we get. So how is it? Pretty good. Is it worth the wait? I don't want to go that far. <laughs> So what'd you get? I got a bacon cheeseburger. And you haven't had it yet, so you don't know if it's I, I do not good. know. So, how are the fries? The fries are good. Ranch is always amazing. I like ranch. Yeah, that's weird. You shouldn't put ranch on fries. Don't do that. That's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> so, I'm now really full. <laughs> we tried several of the items, and all of them were good. It is a small little restaurant and so you know everybody's very kind and we're now nice and full and ready for the next part of our adventure
are on the Puerto Blanco Road. This is a scenic drive for high clearance vehicles. So far we haven't hit anything that really needs a high clearance, but it is pretty rough. As you can see behind me, the scenery here is beautiful as well. Um, this road is gonna end us end up taking us by the border wall, which I've never seen. So we're gonna keep on trekking. <laughs> Rob doesn't open the door for me. <laughs> Good times. going down the scenic trail we came across this old we think it's early 1900s 1930s probably 40s cattle corral I guess it would be the because here in Arizona there is free range so there is, it looks like there's a well here and there's a very large like stone trough so this would probably be where the cattle would come to drink and it looks like they even have like a chute to put it into a trailer or a you know, some kind of vehicle. So we're thinking probably 30s, 40s. It's very fascinating. I love finding this stuff. So we've made it to the border. We've never been this down this far. And so we thought, you know what? We've got to see the border wall. So we stopped on our way through and walked up to it. I mean, there's a little walkway I could go up to it, but. We actually only used four wheel drive. Yeah, we did not need four wheel drive. <laughs> oh yeah, down the Sani section, yeah. So I guess we did get to use it. 
So this has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying my weekend and I'm so happy that our friend Scott came to join us. <laughs>